Alright, what's going on everyone? It's Piki Choco. Now the community at this point is once again very confused. Well, not confused but really sad and frustrated at this moment because of what seems to happen of the twins, Linny and Lynette, the Fatuis, because it is really creating a dilemma for the community and for the future of the Fontaine era of Genshin. So before we get into the video, I just wanna say that the two new blessings giveaway has already started. Basically, the winners can wish for the either of the game that is Honkai Star Rail or Genshin's blessing. Moon. So if you'd like to enter that or simply know more about that, it's the top link of the description. Alright, so here we get into the video and I want to start this video by saying that no, there isn't any leaked footage or twins Linny and Linnet and the Fatui Harbingers gameplay footage in this video. It is simply my critical understanding that I have tried to implement in this situation and I hope Mahoyo understands this because it seems from the ongoing discussions that the twins might exactly not be as they were intended earlier. So in Genshin Impact, it test the potential of an unknown 5 or 4 star, we often compare them with the prominent 5 or 4 stars that are dominant in the game so that players get an idea as to how and what way the character is useful and whether or not it might be optimal to get that character. Well, in this particular case, we know both Linny and Lynette are siblings but surprisingly they will be released as two separate characters. Now Linny, according to certain rumors, is claimed to be a 5 star pyrobo unit and since both are siblings and both will have different roles, it is said that Linny might be a DPS oriented character whose charge attacks may be similar to that of Ganyu and Tenhari. Now the reason I said these twins might be an unpredictable bet is because the damage multipliers are supposedly said to be lower than Ganyu but higher than Tenhari's. Although there's certain pay to win feature that might make her playstyle very unique and powerful and I suppose that might be consolation because that's generally the pay to win feature in Genshin. Now talking about Lynette, her supposed twin brother, it is speculated that he may be a 4 star animo unit and may likely use a sword and to be honest, these elements are kinda predictable if you closely look at the character's clothes. Now talking about the nature, as I said, if Linny is a DPS base, Lynette might be support and that's the speculation. Now a slight good thing is, when I said earlier they might not be released as 1 characters, which most Genshin players dreamed of, as 2 in 1 characters would have been the best idea, well, it seems we'll have to wait for 4.2. I mean, you already know who it is. But yeah, as it seems that Linny and Lynette are dependent characters, they may be released in the same banner at the same time. And this might be a warning to most of the players because do remember that it's easy to get a 5 star than a 4 star in Genshin. I mean, do you agree with this statement? I need your answer in the comments. So to summarize my opinions, Linny, a character stronger than Tenhari but lower than that of Ganyu. Lynette, somewhat similar to Ganyu and Tenhari's buff functions. I mean, it would be incredible incredibly amazing to see how both of these synergize to perform some good damage. But personally, we've reached at a point in Genshin where players really want to see a unique gameplay style. And for that reason, majority of them are waiting for Fontaine Archon because she has... <coughs> I need you to guess that in the comments too. Now talking about actual sort of calculated roadmap. So, for 3.8, based on the tease Hoyoverse has given us, a primary focus might be given on the combination of Sumeru and Mondstadt and Liwa characters. So chances of Raiden, Shogun and Venti are very less and the speculations have been updated to Eula and Klee as most likely. Additionally, Scaramouche and Kokomi's names also have been added to the most likely list. So absolutely crazy information guys. And as for the live stream schedule, it is said that June 23 or 24 might be the day. So as usual, we'll be streaming that on our channel and I hope you all to be there and I'll be sure to give some ninja news. Now 4.0 and here's where the real fun starts. And as for the latest speculations are concerned, it is highly indicated that the new region Fontaine will have some sort of connection with Liwa. And in order to explore that and to build the accurate storyline when we enter the region, this seems to be a time for Linny and Lynette's release as well as the reruns of Yalan Child and Zhongli having more likelihood as the reaction combination makes perfect sense. Now moving on to 4.1 which really stands as a complex area for speculations. Now, if you remember in my earliest videos, I used to say that Hoyoverse will bring some stuff standard characters and the amount of new characters in Fontaine will be much more as compared to all the previous regions. So for the new characters, we might get some political base, some mummy base, new characters that might even be some sort of criminals or judges or associated with the police. But as for the reruns, this seems a perfect time to rerun Raiden Shogun as well as Ayato. Oh well, this logic does make sense because the male character that may be arriving may be a cryo 5 star. So yeah, these are all the possibilities and I will say this once again 
can only go for the characters that make perfect combination for you and make your gameplay easier, not the complex ones. Of course, if it's your personal choice, then no problem. But don't just jump on any hype train and get wrecked because rerunning of the characters from Liwa, Monstad and Inazuma will be not as common as you think. Now moving on to Fatui's, well this is not any sort of spoiler so do not worry, it's just a discussion. So a recent rumor surfaced that the characters shown in the Fatui trailer at the right side, well, all of them might not be playable and even worse, they all might even die. So firstly, when I heard this, I was very shocked and then became a little skeptical because this rumor came from a person who in his earlier days claimed that Child will die when he will fight with Scaramouche during his release, which did not happen by the way. And number two, most of these characters are speculated to be playable on the basis of the placeholder character speculations that have been provided by the uncles. So there's two situations that can outplay here. I mean the uncles who predicted from a long time may be completely wrong or the rumor that turned out to be false one time is becoming true and is nightmare for the players. Personally, I do not think that the characters will die. Now I won't say that all characters won't die because Inazuma pretty much showed us what the fate of a Fatui might be. R.I.P. Senora. So yeah, if they are making a dark storyline, of course, I would say at least one character may die. But not three of them. Honestly, I'm interested to know what every one of you thinks about all these speculations in the comments. So thank you guys for watching. If you find this useful, please like the video and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe and stay picky.